This example will illustrate how we can find the angle between a straight line and a plane in three-dimensional space. And to see this, we'll look at the following example, where we're given a line x equals 2 plus t, y equals 3 minus t, z equals 1 plus 2t. So we're given that the scalar parametric equations of that line here, and the plane x plus y plus 3z equals 4. And the first step is we need to find a vector in the direction of the line. And to do that, it can be easiest to write down the vector equation of the line. And for the vector equation of the line, that has the form R equal to C plus TA, which is clearly not the form this is in at the moment. And R is actually XI plus YJ plus ZK. So therefore, in this case, that will be 2 plus T, lots of I, plus 3 minus T times J, plus 1 plus 2T times K. And to get it in the required vector form from here, we could expand that to get 2I plus TI plus 3J minus TJ plus 1K plus 2TK. And hence from there, if we group all the terms that contain T and all the other terms, we have 2I plus 3J plus K. And then taking T as a common factor out of the rest, that's T times 1I minus 1J plus 2K, which you'll see now is in the required form R equal to C plus TA where clearly now A is this part here. That is in this case, a vector in the direction of the line A is in fact I minus J plus 2K. So this is what we have found. We've found that vector is in the direction of the line. The next thing we need to do is find a normal vector to the plane. And recall that when we're having a look at the plane, if a plane has the form AX plus BY plus CZ equals D, then it will have a normal vector, meaning a vector perpendicular to it, of the form AI plus BJ plus CK. So if we look at our plane here, here we had X plus Y plus 3Z equals 4. So the normal vector is going to be 1i plus 1j plus 3k in this case. So the next thing we can do is find the angle theta between the vector in the direction of the line and the normal to the plane. So using cos theta equal to n dot a divided by the magnitude of n times the magnitude of a, that'll give the cosine of that angle, and we can hence use that to find the angle theta between the normal and the line. So hence in this case, that's going to be cos theta is i plus j plus 3k for the normal vector in a scalar product with i minus j plus 2k. Now remember to work out the magnitude of a vector such as the normal, that's 1i plus 1j plus 3k. So the magnitude is the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 3 squared. Similarly for the magnitude of this one, 1 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 2 squared. Scalar product, we just multiply the i, j, k components, the coefficients of those together, so 1i, 1i, so 1 times 1, 1i, negative 1j, so 1 times negative 1, and plus 3 times 2. And these parts here work out to be the square root of 11 times the square root of 6. So that all simplifies down to give cos theta equal to 6 divided by the square root of 36. Hence, the angle between the normal and the line is cos inverse of 6 divided by the square root of 66, which works out to be 42.39 degrees, correct to two decimal places. But we saw that this was the angle between a vector in the direction of the line and the normal vector to the plane. So to find the actual angle between the line and the plane, which is what we're requiring here, then we actually need to work this out as 
alpha, let's say, is equal to 90 degrees minus theta. So therefore in this case, for instance, the angle between the line and the plane will be 90 degrees minus 42.9 degrees, which works out here to be 47.61 degrees in this case. So that is a method we can use for finding the angle between a line and a plane in three-dimensional space.